and the viewers in this problem we want to find all the three solutions now by writing the given equations here we have t to the power of 3 plus 8 equals to 0. now looking at this equation that says that a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 this can be written as a plus b a squared minus a b plus b squared now using this approach to solve this then we can have this to be um yeah we're writing this which is the same thing t to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 equals to 0. so this gives me t plus 2 which is like a plus b okay and then um, also t plus 2 t squared minus 2t plus 2 squared equals to 0 which is the same thing as t plus 2 t squared minus 2t plus 4 equals to 0 now we're having two different equations here yeah, we can have t to be equals negative 2 or you can have t squared minus 2t plus 4 equals to 0 which forms a quadratic equation now to simplify this quadratic equation we can use the normal quadratic formula that is t equals minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a and from here my a equals to 1 which is the coefficient of t squared b is negative 2 and my c equals to 4 now let's plug in this then here my t is going to be negative negative 2 plus or minus root negative 2 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is also 4 everything over 2 times 1 simplifying this further we have t negative negative 2 gives positive 2 plus or minus root negative 2 squared gives 4 minus 16 over 2 which is the same thing as 2 plus or minus root negative 12 over 2 now simplifying the sort then t equal 2 plus or minus here we can have um in the parentheses which is negative negative 4 times 3 over 2 which is the same thing as 2 plus or minus 2i root 3 over 2 i believe you understand the reason why we have the negative and we have the i which is because of the negative 4 okay now let's factor out 2 here we have t to be equals to 2 into bracket 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2 so let's cancel out this and then finally we're going to be left with 1 plus or minus i root 3 so that is going to be the value of what the value of t so now to write out everything my t is going to be negative 2 also 1 plus or minus i root 3 so those are the three solutions to this problem thank you very much for watching my videos see you next time